guys, it's Lisa from Salty Lashes. We are back with Megan of Cut and Dry and our girl Poppy. And today, Megan is gonna show us on Poppy how to make a really cool bohemian hairstyle for teens. I'm actually not exactly sure where we're going and sometimes that's um, when the best hairstyles come about, when you just are kind of adding things in there randomly and see where it goes. So I think I'm gonna start right here with a fishtail, but I'm gonna start it lower. Split the hair in half, and then you're basically working in four parts. So I'll start it by taking a little bit from each side and going under. So this is also, uh, I don't know if the technical term is a Dutch fishtail, but it's, it's kind of that inside out fishtail just so it um, creates some bulk on her head. So before I start grabbing hair to add to this, I really want to get a secure start of the fishtail. So you can see how it's starting right here. With fishtails, what's important to me is holding the hair really close to the base. So if you are adding, you know, taking hair from the side and adding it over to the other side, to keep it nice and controlled, keep your hands as close to the braid as you can. If you're working down here, you're gonna totally lose control of that fishtail. You don't really have to worry about taking exactly the same size pieces every time. You just wanna be a little bit more carefree about it. I kind of left a longer tail just because I think that's a little bit more fun and bohemian. Again, pancaking this fish tail is the key to getting it that lived in look, more of that undone bohemian look that everybody loves. With fish tails, you can, you can really rough them up a lot more and they'll stay in place. So I'm gonna use a little bit of hairspray in there you can use hairspray or texturizing spray. I just want it to get a little bit more tacky. I wanna finish Poppy's braid with something other than an elastic. So I'm gonna use these really cute hair accessories from Scoonsy. And I think this one will be really cute. It's a neutral color. It will go with the whole bohemian hairstyle. And I think it will be cute at the end of her braid. Even with elastics, be mindful of how you're putting them in the hair. Instead of just looping it all on top of each other, you can kind of spread it out so it works as a hair accessory versus just an elastic. Okay, I'm gonna pull this part back and I just want it to look like this braid is coming out of nowhere. So I don't want it to have a start or a stop, just kind of hidden in there like it's just peeking out. I'm gonna use the gold Scoonsy bobby pin I think these will also be a really cute accessory. Obviously, we don't want to put way too many accessories in Poppy's hair, but I think just little bits here and there make it really fun. So that one I put going up, but this one I'm gonna go down so it really secures that little bit of hair. Also, it creates this fun triangle to go with her whole hairstyle. I'm gonna do one more hidden braid coming out from this side. I'm just gonna do a regular three strand braid, nothing fancy, just to give it a little bit more interest on this left side. Again, I'm using the texture spray here just to give that braid, a little bit more texture. It's the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. Okay, I think I'm gonna take one more piece right here from this other side. I'm gonna loop it through that piece that I pulled over. 
make sure I can still see this triangle here. I can see a little bit of that braid here and then I'll secure it over here with the gold bobby pin. So what's fun about this hairstyle is you can continue to add to it, you can keep it really simple. I ended up adding another piece that I didn't think I was gonna add, but you just kind of keep building on top of what you've already created and sometimes it turns out really fun. It was super simple, super easy, and mostly don't think about what you're doing. Don't put too much effort into it. Take a piece of hair, pin it on one side, and you'll create a really great look.